Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Well today I'm checking out the Cardwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph in the Premium Kit. So this is the box here guys. Okay, we'll just put this to the side um, just to start with and I'm going to run through everything that it comes with. So what we'll do is we're going to get the camera to come in closer and I'll show you what's in the kit. Okay, so first of all we've got the tripod to actually mount the chronograph on. We've got the carry bag here. We've got the chronograph itself. We've got some LED sensors and an actual AC mains adapter to go with that. We've got four sunshade rods, the manual, we've got the chronograph cord which uh, goes back basically um, from the chronograph into your iPhone. We've got some sunshades and then last of all we've got a battery pack here uh, which takes four AA batteries and you can actually plug that into your IR light sensors if you're not near mains power. Okay so it looks a little bit of a mess, let's go through it one by one and get this set up. So first thing we'll do here is just extend the legs fully on the tripod. Then the chronograph clips in. We need to install the posts for the sunshades. And then we put the sunshades on. Now when positioning the chronograph, you want to have it uh, at least 10 feet away from where you're shooting. So 15 feet would be preferable, but you don't want it too far away. Obviously, if you're shooting off a bench, you need it down at the correct height because you need to be able to shoot through the middle here for the chronograph to actually calculate the reading. So let's move it out a bit here. Now I'm putting the uh, IR sensors away guys because really it requires mains power to operate even though we do have the, the battery adapter here okay you're still only going to get about two hours of run time out of it so because we don't have any uh, external power out here um, we're just going to use the sunshades and we're just going to run the cable back to the smartphone and use it from there so with the cable there's a connection on the side here where you just simply plug it in and run it back to the smartphone now this chronograph takes a standard 9 volt battery, okay, just underneath, um, obviously I don't need to run you through on how to install that, that's pretty straightforward. And on the other side of the chronograph here, you'll see there's a uh, off position, but then you've got feet per second or meters per second. So I like to work in feet per second, so I'm going to turn it on to feet per second and then you'll see on the display here, okay, it just counts down. goes through its little startup and it's ready to go. So let's connect this into the smartphone and run some tests. So on the smartphone it just goes into the audio jack there and it can just sense when it's actually running. Now on the smartphone what I actually do is uh, download the Cardwell Ballistic program. It is free, okay, so no problem in doing that. Alright guys, I'll just show you the app, okay, when we do open it. Now if we just start shooting now, the cable is connected, you'll see the green icon in the top right hand corner there. So it'll start measuring straight away, okay? But it's not going to work out like your standard deviation or anything like that unless you actually go to a new group and then you can enter the particulars there and hit start, okay? So we're going to start off with uh, the 22 using the RWS ammunition, so it's a 40 grain hollow point. So let's just go 22... Uh, WS okay so look there's a couple of different things that you can put in but for some reason I've noticed with this I might be doing something wrong but I can't put in the temperature so I'll tell you what the temperature is it's ridiculously hot right now I got sweat pouring off me as you can see it's only 8 20 in the morning 
So we'll just put um, RWS 22 there and then we'll hit start. Okay, so it's going to start reading that now. We'll get the cameras up and we'll uh, get it all set up and we'll put five rounds of RWS through and you can see it in action. Okay guys, so very quickly you can see the results there. Okay, we had a little bit of varied results, a spread of 43 feet per second over the five shots. But fantastic, isn't it? Because if you're looking for, you know, trying to narrow down the most consistent rimfire ammunition, or if you're uh, reloading your center fires, perfect, isn't it? You can really get it down to uh, quite a consistent load using this and working out uh, your reload. So, Let's jump into the center fire now. We've got the 223 here and we'll just see how uh, accurate that is. Alright guys, so that was the 2D3, so you can see there, um, well, we've had a spread of 115 feet a second. Um, however, obviously we're moving a lot faster than the old 22 round. But once again, really good isn't it? You can just see what each round is doing and work out the spreads and so forth. So, a really good idea. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap up with my final thoughts on the Cardwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph Premium Kit. Now it's pretty straightforward isn't it, you know, it's so basic to assemble and use just in general, very user friendly. Now uh, the accuracy that it measures too I should mention is uh, plus or minus 0.25%, okay, so it's a fairly good accuracy reading. As I said you can use those LED strips for, you know, greater accuracy, but it's preferable to have an AC source or, you know, you're going to go through a few batteries running it out in the field. But anyhow guys, look, there's not much more I can demonstrate with it. Uh, price wise you're looking at about $375, they're available virtually everywhere that uh, you know has Niowa products because Niowa are the importers of this particular chronograph so go into your local gun shop if they don't have one I'm sure they can get one in for you. Alright guys hope you enjoyed the review so till next time we'll catch you then.